Yeah, this is uh, Steve Hummer from the Atlanta General Constitution. Uh, Two-part question. First of all, when you, when you come onto this property every time, given your long history, is there one fond memory that, that always strikes you first? There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of memories here. More memories at this racetrack than anywhere I've ever been. But I always remember probably the first time pulling in here is in 99. And we were moving from Connecticut and trying to figure out where we wanted to live. And we drove by Atlanta Motor Speedway and we almost pull in. And um, I remember we drove in and, and all of us were, we were in a motorhome just traveling across the country, figuring this whole thing out. And uh, we, walk, we drove through the tunnel like, oh my God, <laughs> like, look at this, this place is incredible. We'd never been to a track like this before. Um, at the time I was racing quarter midgets and, and um, we met Ken Reagan, David Reagan's dad, um, here at Legends of Georgia. And uh, I said, why don't you race a Bandolero tonight? No, it was just <laughs> like, okay, sure, we'll race tonight. <laughs> and that's just the way we did it. And uh, we ran the race and um, we ended up buying the car and <laughs> said, we'll be back. And we moved down here, I don't know, maybe six months later, the car was still sitting in the shed. And I started racing here. And those memories uh, with, with my parents and my sister, and um, there's a lot of, there's more stories than, than I can mention here. Um, but it, it, uh, the dream of driving on that quarter mile and always thinking, I just want to go straight one day and get on the big track. That's what I always wanted to do. And um, pulling into victory lane here is obviously uh, one of the most special things um, to, to really put all that together. So definitely a lot of fun stories. We've been thrown out of here a few times, um, but they can't throw me out today. Ha <laughs> 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 And And where did, I don't know, ranking is not really the right question, but uh, this is, I guess, another special chapter in the memories you have of this place. I don't know. How, how how you're going to uh, file this away? Uh, yeah, I mean it's away. it's um I, I'd say the first time I've won here was was probably the most special one last year and um and my dad being here and we celebrated on Victory Lane you know or in a French straightaway together that was a really cool moment. Um, this is there's just a lot of moments on the start finish line here before my my favorites. I'll tell you a fun story because you're asking for stories. We came here. This was years ago. Uh, Roush gave me a cup car to go make laps in. This is before I signed with Gibbs. This was back in 2004. I was 14. And we would just go make laps at local short tracks uh, just, just for fun. And we'd go testing with Mark Martin. And it was like the coolest thing in the world. And a friend of ours was testing a, a Porsche for the um, Rolex 24 and was running the road course here to test. And we said, hey, could we, do you mind if we make some laps while you're not on the word course? Absolutely, no problem. So we called uh, Ed Clark at the time, he was running the track, and was like, hey, you know, we make some laps. And like, yeah, sure. They thought we were racing uh, Legends cars, because at the time I was racing Legends cars, they thought I was gonna run laps on the quarter mile. They're like, sure, okay. Well, then we unloaded a cup car, and they didn't like that. That wasn't too cool in, the, in their book, and um, they gave me this lap time that I couldn't exceed, and it was a very slow lap time. So I'd run a fast corner, and that's it. And I always remember it was right before lunch, and my dad goes, screw it, Joe. Just go. They're going to throw us out. I don't care. Just go. They're going to black flag it. Just go until it runs out of gas. <laughs> so <laughs> this is how we, I grew up. <laughs> it explains a lot for you guys, just so you know. Um, so I did that. We got thrown out, and um, but it was a really cool memory. Did you tell us to go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> I was 14. We were ripping, too. It was, it was fun. It was really cool. We're going to come up. Yeah, 805. Uh, we had a race shop down the road from here, um, and was uh, our late model was there. Um, Jim Gresham owned our, our late model. I drove for him, and uh, his uh, grandkid raced, and he, uh, he raced too. And so we stored all our stuff there. And uh, so we lived here a lot, because my our house was actually in Alpharetta, but that's you know an hour plus from here. Um, so we stayed here a lot. There was, yeah, but me and my dad were here 90% of the time. So it was, uh, yeah, it just ended up being being here. There's plenty of times after a race, I remember, you know, it, the memories just like flood, flood, come flooding back to you, but to see the the, the post-race interviews like this, we'd be watching it from the, the whatever closed network cameras uh, up in the condos afterwards. It's cool sitting here thinking about that. Maybe someone up there is watching right now. Kind of cool. Uh, talking about the memories here of racing and Ken Reagan and your your condo here. Have you ever had an inkling or an urge to maybe go up there and uh, maybe uh, knock on the door and say, "Hey, would you mind if I kind of like kind of check the place out, see what's changed and what's?" You know, I really want to do that, um, and I've 
I've thought about it a lot to go up there and, and just knock on the door. And I always thought it was kind of weird to do. Like, if someone just knocked on your door, like, hey, I used to live here. Can I see what it looks like now? Like, that's, I feel like that's kind of weird to do. So I never did it. But I talked about it a lot tonight. So <laughs> maybe next time I'll just do it. I'll knock on the door and check it out. You did that? That's cool. I would be weirded out if someone did that at my house. You know, I'd be like, I don't know, did you really? You know, it's a little weird. I don't know, you're not just casing my house, you know? I don't know, that's where my head goes. <laughs> that helps, okay, that's good. Everyone knows Bob. They'll take a selfie with Bob and then they'll, they'll let you in. I think that's how you do it. It's the goal.